fighting around in the red corner, weighing in at 160 pounds, fighting from Everybody Fights, trained by Jason McLeod and Ben Schenk, Trisha Young. So Trisha Young, five foot three. So the the story of this fight, there's a size oh my of God. height advantage. So Trisha Young is five foot three. Her opponent, Candy Saunders, is uh, five foot ten. So uh, Trisha Young, five foot three, 160 pounds, 48 years old. She's an executive director fighting out of EDF. Uh, this will be another Masters boat. Um, so we'll see how long the rounds are. Anywhere from uh, one minute all the way up to two minutes. Looks like they've been doing minute and a half rounds. So we'll yeah. see if they're consistent with that here. Um, but yeah, just just a remarkable height advantage. Yeah, a, a wild discrepancy. We'll see what that looks like. Please welcome fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting from Red Line Fight Sports, trained by Vincent Morin, Candy the Gun Show, Saunders. Oh, uh, can I tell you, I can't touch this story. One time I talked over this during a previous Haymakers, the amount of hate in the comments. They were like, these two idiots these talked over the song. Like, I go, oh. I talked over MC Hammer, <laughs> don't touch us. Music it's a, it slaps, so but guys, all right, oh, so just Lord. as a spoiler, if you'd like to indulge in this music, you can look it up. Listen, MC Hammer, it's a, like, more it's of a an great, Adam family I love too. Uh, um, MC Hammer guy. So uh, Candy Saunders, um, and I mean this it, 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 in, in a very endearing way, is uh, terrifying looking uh, in the ring. She looks mean yeah, yeah, so in a good way. There's only so much you can learn from a two second highlight video, but she looked kind of ferocious and long. She and just that, looked. That's what she is. But in the fight, I don't know how as a as a five foot three and five foot ten. It's, so th again. The height difference is real. Uh, very real. And she looks like a long 5'10". Her arms are yeah. crazy long. Now, we, we saw some bag work. It could mean absolutely nothing. It, could, it might not transition. But, but Candy Saunders' affect stayed maintained completely stoic the entire time. Uh, Greg Lashishin in the ring. Yep. Um, pushing him. Pushing him. He's like, get it. Give me Greg's space. So, uh, yeah, so Trisha Young is, is going to want to close the distance. She's a lefty. Uh, nope. Yeah, uh, they, they're, both, they're lefties. both lefties. There you go. So Trisha Young's going to want to close the distance immediately. Candy Saunders is going to want to kind of get on her bike and throw long ones and twos. Yeah, let's see how this plays out. Uh, she better get on that bike soon. Because yeah, uh, uh, Trisha uh, Young yeah, is so, yeah. Candy way has too crazy hips. My, oh my goodness! That right hook is uh, could be a problem, Mark. It was a great jab. That yeah, hook, that hook is her. She's getting, good. she's doing everything she's supposed to do. That that right hook is she's going getting, to find Pater. She's getting low and turning. She's just going to set it up. Over. She's got to float a little more to her right. What um, what's the plan here? Um, Candy's got to be way more aggressive. She's I'd, just I'd way like too to passive. see. Now that we see, I see. I'd like to see Young actually jab more. Um, yeah, jab, jab her way in. She doesn't yep. have to be wild on the way in. And then, then open and then, that hook. And then that sit, hook's fantastic. Sit and rip right there. Yep. Sit and rip. She has to move to her right. It looks like can't, Candy escapes to Trish's uh, right over and over again. Trish has to kind of overcommit to her right side. Good, good jab, but it's just now not, Candy's. It's, if if Candy can start throwing straight punches, I would like to see um, Trisha actually slow down and re reset and, and relax yeah, a, little a little bit. Yeah, because yeah, her boxing uh, was actually great yeah. right off the bat. Um, she's already lost a ton of zip on her punches. Um, but those body shots are hard, yeah. though. She come up with that hook this time. Uh, yeah, uh, just um, when it comes to amateur boxing, uh, volume is so important um, for scoring. Uh, it, it's just, it just I, I, I'm a little taken back. It just wasn't what I expected. So I thought um, that Candy would uh, establish uh, more of her length. Um, Trisha did come out. Uh, guns blazing like a <laughs> bull in a china shop. Her head is pretty well displaced. And that's, yeah, that's what uh, Gregory is uh, addressing right now. 
It looks like they're adjusting it. The, the game plan's interesting. Speaking of like stoic affect, Candy is very calm, but I would like to see her. She's got to let her hands go. Yeah, exactly. She, so, she has to punch more. But, and um, it's so funny because like, tr but this Trisha might looks like she's punched herself out I considerably. Know. I mean, that, that's. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Something happened there. Something happened there with the timekeeper. Something happened with the timekeeper. So we heard the 10 second clapper at the same time we as heard the, the as bell. the corner bell, yeah. Right. So I think that so, was just a quick. Uh, Welcome back, our uh, Rick Carter. I'm going to watch Vincent Sullivan. in the corner here. She Vincent's my dog, Vincent Warren. And see if that was like, maybe that was like, listen, man. Weather the storm? And yeah, maybe it was like the most brilliant game plan of all time. Maybe they did, because, okay, so for context, these these boxers compete, or I guess not compete, but they yeah, spar they, at media yeah, they, do, they do a media day about a month before the so event. They do two rounds to see, like, you know, they want to make sure that these boats are at least ethical, they make sense. So maybe Vincent saw that there was a huge difference in cardio and yeah. conditioning. Maybe, maybe Trisha went, like, balls to the wall and just dumped her load. Yeah, blew her gas tank Yeah, early. and maybe he was like, hey, don't show her anything the first round. I I'll tell you that. I, I, that's, I, that seems short, too. The three, the three rounds in an amateur bout, you don't really have a feeling out round. You don't usually have that luxury. If that yeah. was the case and it works, uh, that'd be pretty nuts. I don't, again, I've, I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, oh great. that's the great oh, scene right Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. Okay, two things. Number one, I think that was a, a clean knockdown. That was a very clean It was clean counted knockdown. as a slip. Number we'll, two. We'll, we'll see if they count it as a slip. Um, we'll see what Gre no, Greg's counting. He is counting as a knockdown. When she, when, when Trisha then, knocked her down, she, uh, she threw a... The old nail in the coffin. Uh, that might elicit a caution. Push. Oof. The shishin. See, the right hook is her best punch, but yep. she has to catch her at the end of it. And she's finally shifting her body oh, weight a little bit. Again. again, the escape is to Trisha's right. Trisha has to overcome yeah, that Yeah, she right hurt her again. Yep. Great. So, so it, as the round progressed, Trisha ended up smothering her offense a little bit. She was so... Now, yeah, now she's more Now she's range. catching right at mid-range and yep. actually hurting Candy. Um, what I would like to see her do is catch her at mid-range, but this time not punch her. I heard somebody counting so on the yes, microphone. No, no, yeah. So it's it's uh so officials at ringside will continue to count to help. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It sounded like a fan caught a hot no, mic. No, it was not. Um, this 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 candy is just it's I I don't know um I don't know if he's under the weather. I don't know if there's there's an a injury. million factors. Um, I don't know if it's just a little bit of the yips for the big lights. Um, uh, but, but I'm not like we should have mentioned this as soon as Trisha threw her first right hook. We're like this. It was brilliant. Got hips and she's she can she can pop and she she know she doing exactly what she's supposed to be doing. And the and the punches that both landed by the way. And again um, we're we're saying that oh, that, that Trisha like kind of punched herself panic. out. The reason is oh, the pace is it's remarkably it's remarkably high pace. But what what Trish is doing again is catching Candy now at the end of the punches. Meaning that she's not smothering him. So again, for context, what I mean by that, in that first round, she kind of like she got too close to land clean punches. She's kind of like she, she couldn't open her hips. She kind of wrapped her at range. Yes. So and but what's uh, aiding that mark is that a tired Candy is kind of stepping just back enough to put her right at the apex yeah. of those punches. Yeah, you almost want to see Candy stuff. Yeah. If, she, if she's gonna, if she's gonna be there, hold and, and reestablish yeah. her, her length again. Um, it's an interesting fight. I, I will say that Trisha's right hook is an incredible punch. Yeah, and she t she tends to land it uh, early and hard at the beginning of the uh, beginning of each round. Correct. Yeah, the uh, the start of the round is where to keep the biggest eye on it. Certainly. Let's see if this plays out differently. Third and final round. And now, when I say Candy doesn't need to be wild or, you know, ferocious, but she needs to be more offensively minded. Yeah, that, she's that, walking that into that right hook. hook. Oh, oh, she's right there again. I like that Trish is being smart and, and thinking about and switching the only up thing body I would love head. to see. Trish has got to cut off the ring a little yep. bit. And again, she, yeah. She, 
and in terms of what I was saying, in terms of I like the idea of body and head, but realistically. I don't know if they think that this, they call time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was the best punch Kane Atlanta, though. It was a yeah. good jab at the end of it. Um, this is what she has to do, though. Got to tighten that up. Um, see, this is where we talk about smothering the offense. Yeah. We actually she's want got, mid-range. She's, she's got to take a one half step back. Ooh. I don't like, again, the body language from Candy. Deep breaths. She's got to drop that offense. The the for for the first time in the night the uh, the height discrepancy has worked in the favor of the shorter boxer. Yeah. Uh, the shorter boxer fought like a short boxer. Yep. Um, Constant pressure. We saw it um, earlier in the night. She um, can't turn her back. The, with, bo the bout is on. Yeah. Angie and, and uh, Tina. Angie used her length brilliantly. Um, good, good, and good, boxed good, tall. Good. But now Tina's Single using punch her. by Candy. Yeah. It's uh, she's sitting on things. Don't smother. Make a little bit of yeah, room. She's going to take one half step back. And actually, that was good on Candy for actually closing the distance. Good she, body. She, yeah, she, that was good. the body there with that, that right hook. Oof. Opening her hips again. Good body again. Left. <laughs> Greg saying rock, oh, paper, scissors, shoot. That's right. <laughs> he just shrugged, though. He's like, look, you guys got to fight. <laughs> yeah, look, he's going he's box, like, box, box, box. Interesting style clash. Uh, not what I was expecting. That was, um, a, and that's too bad that Candy's shaking her head because, it, it, again, she gave three good rounds against a uh, a really good boxer. Yeah, and, and again, it, it could have been a, a, a multitude of things. It, it could have been an adrenaline dump. It's a very, this is not the Bill Ricca Elks where a lot of people are making their amateur debuts. We're at the MGM oh, at yeah. Fenway under some, some serious lights. We just were at fights. Uh, at, uh, you were saying this. That at the Madison, Madison Square Garden, the, yep. the Madison Square Garden Theater, and the production here is equal or better. The environment is so comparable that it is wild to think that we have women making their amateur boxing debut. And people fighting for world titles. Exactly. And an and, 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 and almost identical platform. And I'm not, I'm not yeah, it, embellishing that's, that's, at that, all. Yeah, that's, that's, I mean, we were just we're there two weeks ago. It's, it's, really the, it's truly the case. I mean, you guys see this at home. Uh, it, the production value is over the top. The environment is very loud, very intimidating for yeah. someone making their debut. We were there for the Michaela Mayer um, fight, and uh, the venue is uh, slightly smaller, and the production value is near identical, um, and and uh, much better cause. And I they fought better than our, half the undercard yeah, on yeah, that, no, that, that show. I'm I telling think you we're right going to see our first uh, unanimous decision. Just the first unanimous? Yeah. 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 Excellent work. Yeah, Trish, very, very excited, very animated. Yeah. A great, I mean, great game plan. I mean, did exactly what she needed to do. Yeah, that um, was that was great.